All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do another review. This time, it's going to be on the iHome XT-57. Now, you can find these normally at your local Ross, or you can look online. Regular price is $39.99, but I got it for $21.99, so I did luck out on a sale. And surprisingly, at that price point, this headphone actually has quite a few features that I think is worthwhile that everyone would be into. So without further ado, let's put in the drop and hop right into this review. Alrighty guys, full disclosure, I already use these for about a week now. Make sure my hands is good, okay. I already use these for about a week now, so I'm going to just pop them right out of the case. We're going to hop right into it. So I do like how this case design is, and it actually does tell you a lot of features of the settings. So let's kind of go over that right now, uh, the taps. We'll do that first before we even do the unboxing. So the right earbud, the left earbud, and then it has controls for either because you can use them in single or pair mode. And this headset does actually have mono mode, which I'm going to show you how the earbuds look in a second. So if you tap it once, tap it twice, I'm sorry, double tap, it'll play or pause. If you hold the right earbud, it'll make the track go forward. If you tap it, it'll make the, it'll actually raise the volume. While on the left earbud, if you actually press or hold it, uh, <clears throat> double tap twice, same as the right side, it'll go ahead and pause and play. But if you hold the left side, it'll go back to the previous, uh, previous track because it's the left earbud and the right goes forward. So that's pretty normal with most headphones. And then with the single tap, it actually lowers the volume. Now, on the other hand, you can use it in mono mode where it's by itself. So if you single tap, answer the phone calls, double tap, hang up, tap and hold to reject incoming calls. So it's very, very simple controls. And to answer your question, whether it's actually customizable, I'm gonna go ahead and say no, because there's no app support for this particular headset. So you get what you get inside the box. I'm going to take this out right here for you guys. All right. Pop that out. Just so you know, it does actually come with your USB-C charger because it does have a C cable. Thank God for that. I know a lot of these headphones tend to keep using micro USB and it's like, what, what era are you guys on? But this one, they finally decided to catch up and see if I can grab this piece for you guys to show you. And it does, of course, come with your rubber tips inside of the box. I can't get it out right now. It's actually stuck on the other end. Let's see if I can grab it. There we go. Push that out. Here you are. So these are your rubber tips. So what I want to go ahead and do is just pack this up over here. We're going to push that to the side, get this out of the view, and let's actually look at these headphones. So first things first, the good news is that these actually have a total battery life of 30 hours or up to 30 hours because you know sometimes it says 30 hours and uh, it might be a half an hour hour shy but you get up to 30 hours of battery life with these headphones uh you get five hours per charge and i'm happy about that because this the end see what side is this it actually tells you the side right here right side left side in addition to that uh <clears throat> you have a battery indicator meter now I love that feature. I think that's pretty cool where you can actually see how charged your case is and when you actually need to charge it. Optional, like it's it's, it's not anything super, super special because I know a lot of earbuds, they tend to have like a red light or a green light on the outside like Galaxy Buds. And then the color changes if it's getting lower or they'll have four bars and it gets lower as it keeps charging to let you know the case needs to be charged. But this will actually give you a number amount so you don't have to worry about that. So you'll know for a fact, you know what, can I get through the day with this particular headset and, and you know with your usage it varies of course you have your USB-C on the back it did come in black and white again this was uh sold at ross that's where i purchased it $21.99 in case people forgot the price when i said it in the beginning um it's actually a really good headset in addition to that this also has wireless charging so for those that have wireless charging pads sitting at their computer uh the computer desk their phone is wireless charging by their bed this will work with that just fine um, it doesn't have, what do we call it, uh, fast charging or anything like that. So it will take some time for the earbuds themselves to charge the case. But if you ever own earbuds that don't have fast charging, you'll be perfectly fine with these. Primarily because most headphones of this price point don't have rapid charging or fast charging or anything like that. And most people don't mind. So, you know, as long as you keep them inside the case when you're done, take it out of your ear, put it in the case, you'll be perfectly fine. Now, the earbud itself, 
<clears throat> show you this one right here. It's very, very, and I mean very small. These things are extremely comfortable. I can't stress enough how comfortable these things are. Much more comfortable to me than the Galaxy Buds 2, primarily because they basically feel like they're not even really even in your ear because they're so small. Now, the downside to them being so small, let me open this case so you guys can take a look at the headset while I'm doing this. The downside to this being small, and if you see buttons, it looks like the light is uh, flickering. It's because that's how lights look whenever a camera is recording. To me, I don't see it flickering, but in the camera, it looks like it's flickering. So don't worry. There's nothing wrong with the case. That's just how cameras pick up uh, other digital devices. Like if you look at a screen or a monitor and you see the lines going through it, it is what it is. So like I was saying before, um, this doesn't have any type of IP rating that I noticed, which that was a real bummer because I wanted to take these outside. But to be honest with you, most earbuds of this ilk can basically go outside, uh, take minor splashes. Like if you happen to be using these headphones, if you get caught in the rain, I don't think you have cause for concern where they're going to just short out. It could probably take a beating, like a little bit of rain here and there, a little bit of sweat. But I don't necessarily suggest going to the gym with these because I, since I don't see an IP rating, everybody sweats differently. I'm one of those people where I wipe down my headphones every time I use them. Other people, you'd be surprised, may have a headset and they don't wipe that thing down once a year and then come back complaining and saying it's broken and it's just air dirt. <laughs> but it happens. So very cool headphones. Like I said, they do work inside mono mode. This is your touch button right here where the little circle is, that little surface. So it is easy to use the touch on this headset, but at times your finger might slip up and you might touch something else. In addition to that, this is a very big thing for people that like headphones. Uh, that aren't well. I do get questions sometimes where people ask me how good does the touch actually work, and and that's actually a very good question. Uh, because these fit are so small, I at one point I put them in upward. You sort of put them in and then turn sideways, which I'll I'll show you guys toward the end of the video how it looks inside of the ear. And in fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually make the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, I'll make the thumbnail with them in my ears so you can see how they look. But they're not bad. I like, like I can honestly say that when you put it in, sometimes you do accidentally touch the touch controls when you're trying to fit it in your ear. So just be aware that I have bigger fingers. So whenever I take it out of the case and I was twisting it in my ear, my hand normally was touching the touch button and that was an issue for me. So that, that's about it. Now, if we want to talk about the actual sync process, all you have to do is take them out of the case let them sit for a moment. They'll talk and let you know that they're syncing or pairing, whatever. And you see how this is right here. They are now paired to each other. So as soon as you go to the Bluetooth, it'll pop up the XT-57. You sync it, and then you're good to go. And mono mode automatically works if you decide to use one or two together. You shouldn't have any problems whatsoever doing that. Now, one of the other things I will say about this is... You know what? Actually, let me correct myself. It says water resistant. But like I said before, it doesn't actually say the actual uh, IP rating of this particular headset. So good news is that you will be able to take it to the gym because it is water resistant. The problem is, I don't know if it's IPX5. I don't know if it's IPX4. I don't know what it is, but it's supposed to be water resistant. I think they should have did a better job of telling people that. But it is what it is. And at this price point, well, originally these things are $40, so I can't even say that anymore. Because there are other $40 headphones that give you all the information. But it is what it is. But if we're talking about sound and just quality of music, how do I, what, what can I put these at versus? Perfect headphones. The, I just had it on top of my head. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. They're uh, JLab, JLab Ergo Pops. There we go. The JLab Ergo Pops are very similar to these when it comes to music quality. Now, what I will say is you might get better music quality out of this as a technicality because of the ear canal. This might fit a little bit deeper for you, depending on the shape of your ears. So you might actually hear music a little bit better. Not saying that the quality is better than that particular product, but it's equal to. But you have to remember that the JLab Ergo Pops are $20 regular price and a lot of times $12 to $14 on, excuse me, on sale. So we're talking about value-wise. Obviously, the J Ergo, uh, J Lab Ergo Pops are not only easier to get because they're mainstream. Uh, you know, it's just it is an overall better product with better battery life. But not to downgrade these; these aren't bad. So if you're, <clears throat> you know, frequent frequenting 
your your Ross stores, or even your Burlington's, because Burlington has a lot of iHome products. This particular one, if you pick it up for twenty one ninety nine, is not a bad product. The problem now, and I'm going to be honest with you, is that there's so many earbud companies making low, not low budget, but just low end or or mid tier headphones at such affordable prices that when you look at things like this, you'll be like, well, you know, I could just go to Best Buy and buy this product for 30 bucks and it'll last longer and have better reviews. And you know what? You'd be right about that. But not everybody is looking for the best headset. Sometimes people just want something to get them through that sounds good, that fits good, and that's it. They're not particular about anything else. As long as it sounds good, call quality is decent, they're happy about that. And on our next topic, let's talk about the call quality while we take a look at this earbud and kind of circle it around and show it to you. So as for the call quality, I did talk to my wife in a subway. I always talk to people in extreme conditions to kind of show them uh, how well the microphone actually works. And according to her, I did sound muffled, but when a train stopped, she could hear me, but she heard the background noises and people talking more than she heard me, which means that these microphones don't do a good job of necessarily isolating the sound around you. So if you're walking outside and you're, let's say, 8th and Market, 10th and Market, 12th and Market, 30th Street, whatever it is, you will hear traffic going on in the background, point blank, if you're on a phone call. You'll probably hear the tires screeching across the ground as the rain uh I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to say, but you get the point that I'm making. And uh, with that being said, it's again, they're not bad. She she said that when I was up above ground, that the call quality was okay. It wasn't bad. She could definitely tell that I was on a Bluetooth that wasn't super high end. Of course, I've reviewed so many Bluetooths, uh, even before this channel, before I even started the channel, that she's used to hearing certain quality in my headset. So she'll immediately pick up if some are worse than others. And she said this didn't sound as good as, you know, uh, let's say um, the Liberty Air 2 Pros, which I'm currently using right now for noise cancellation. And, you know, but this is a huge price difference. This is $129, that's 21 bucks. So, you know, it's a huge price difference. So you have to understand, you know, you're not gonna have all the greatest features with that price point. But I can honestly say that overall, the headphones aren't bad at all. Um, for this last section, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys some pictures, and then we're going to talk about if it worked by. So here, <clears throat> excuse me, here is a picture or some video of how these headphones fit in your ear. They fit; they're very small, they're extremely comfortable, and they shouldn't cause any ear irritation whatsoever. I haven't had any issues for the entire week that I reviewed this product. So there you go. All right, guys. So for the final verdict. These headphones actually are worth buying. Honestly, I think the regular price for these should be about $19.99 just to be in the market with other company. Sorry about that, guys. That was my wife calling. Had to hang up on her. Uh, yeah, these guys should definitely be in the market for like $20, no more than $30 uh, tops if it ever made its way to Best Buy. I doubt it would, primarily because there's so many companies out there with such competitive prices. It's like, you know what? Most people are going to pass these up. But if you happen to frequent a Ross or a Burlington, like I said, I just see this in black. They're not bad headphones. And on top of that, remember, these come with wireless charging. Most headphones at this price point do not come with wireless charging. Personally, I like that feature because I'm using Apple products. I don't want to have to carry a bunch of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, cords around. Like I don't want to have a carry a C cable in addition to a lightning cable and this and that. I'm not one of those people. I normally have a wireless charger with me or I'll just put it on my desk, wirelessly charge it while I'm at work or at home. It's super convenient. That's the way I like things done. I know it's just, I'm nitpicking when it comes to things like that, but it works great. So I have nothing bad to really say about these headphones outside of the fact that it don't have, it doesn't have any active noise cancellation or something like that, but I didn't expect it to. So with that being said, uh you guys be safe always subscribe hit the link it's absolutely free and i'll see you guys in the next one